What's up YouTube? It's your girl Ray and for today we're gonna be doing a bunch of different hairstyles so let's just get right into it. So here I'm just taking down my hair because we're gonna be getting ready to brush it. So I usually just do two big sections on each side um but you can do like four sometimes. I might do that today because my hair is really knotted so I think I'm gonna do four sections. As you can see, I'm doing one section at a time to get all of my hair brushed out and looking good. Then once you have these, move on to the top. All brushed. For the first hairstyle we're doing, you're going to need a comb and you're going to want to make a part going down just like this. But then you're going to turn it so that you have almost two parts in kind of a square. And I'm showing you how to do that right here. And this is what the result of your part should look like. And after you make the first part, you're gonna do it on the other side. Start by connecting the top of your comb to the other part so that it matches up. And this is what it should look like when you're done with that. So when I do my half up, half down styles, I always like to separate the rest of my hair so the other hair doesn't get tangled into it. So I'm just putting it in a ponytail right here. Next, you're gonna comb out the top and make sure it's flat and then tie it like a regular ponytail. I like to use small rubber bands for this because I think regular hair ties are too thick for the half up, half down styles. After you get it into the right place, start braiding all the way down to the bottom. Once you're finished, repeat it on the other side. Once you've finished braiding both sides, take out the ponytail and you're all done. This is what the result should look like. It's a great hairstyle for both straight and curly hair patterns and it's a great back to school hairstyle that keeps your hair out of your face. The next hairstyle is very simple. It starts with what you just did in the last hairstyle and you're just going to put them in buns. So wrap it around and add a bobby pin and you're all set. This is what the end result looks like, and it's also a great hairstyle for both curly and straight hair patterns, as well as long or short hair, and it looks really cute. So this next hairstyle is also a half up, half down moment. Um, you do need small rubber bands for this hairstyle, so I recommend getting your favorite colors. You can do any pattern or any colors that you want, and it's a really cute hairstyle that you can switch up very easily. When placing the rubber bands for this hairstyle, you can place it as close or as far from the rubber band above it as you want. Anything works. I just did long because my hair is long. The next color I'm using is green. They don't have to be completely even sections because you're going to move them around a little bit at the end. You will see that when we get there. The next color is blue. I had two colors of blue, so I used dark blue first, then I did light blue. So here I'm almost done placing the rubber bands. The second to last color I chose was purple. So I'm kind of going for like a rainbow kind of cute, you know. So the last color I chose to put was pink. And you want to have the same amount of hair at the end as you do in the sections. So moving on to the last step, you're going to start pulling the sections until they create like a sort of puffy look. Repeat this process like you did on that side, on the other side. So this is the end result, and I think it looks so cute. It's a great hairstyle for going out with your friends and just trying to look really cute with being simple as well. 
You can probably tell this is one of my favorite hairstyles because I'm really feeling myself right here. So for this next hairstyle, you're going to want a headband. Once you get it placed where you like, you're going to split your hair in two down the back with a comb. After that, you're going to split the two sections into four, and then you're going to have two sections on each side, which you'll twist and then add a scrunchie at the end. Once you let go of the scrunchie, it'll become a little bit looser, but it still looks really good. Repeat the same process on the other side. So this is what it looks like as the end result, and I think it's so cute. For the next hairstyle, you also want to start with a headband. So you're basically just going to make two buns on each side. This is a very simple hairstyle. This is the end result. It's great for summer and keeping your hair off of your neck so that you can cool down. This final hairstyle is one of my favorites, so you're going to start with putting your hair in a high ponytail. Once you get the perfect ponytail, take out a small section and keep it out while you twist the rest of your hair up into a bun. Once the rest of your hair is in the bun, you're going to be left with a section which you're going to braid. Once you braid it to the bottom, you're going to start wrapping the braid around the very bottom of the bun and then you're going to secure it with a bobby pin and it's all done. So this is the end result and it's a perfect way to elevate your messy bun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Ray, and as always, I hope y'all have a fantastic and wonderful day.